folks, today we're going to do a video on the in the build series called the Solar Powered System. And we're going to cover episode one is going to cover two phases of the build of this system. Uh, the primary focus of the whole system to begin with is a reliable refrigeration and freezer system for three seasons of the year uh, without use of a gas generator in the off-grid scenarios. That's really the focus. Phase one will be a, a, the startup phase. That was basically the first season of testing. And that led to further another phase, phase two, to enhance and strengthen the system for late fall and low sun angle conditions that were discovered as a problem in the first phase. Looking at the refrigerator freezer bunk side of the boat, underneath is where I keep my refrigerator, the ice co. It's a two compartment freezer fridge combination. And then if we go forward, see my solar generator and this powers that refrigerator and on top my solar panels power this generator. As mentioned there's two Bluetti SP120 panels on the roof 240 watts total and they're uh, powering the generator, the solar generator, the Blue Eddy AC200, which in turn powers the refrigerator freezer. So it's fastened, those portable panels are fastened down on the roof uh, and have to be removed when you go down the road. So that's one disadvantage is it can't be powering the refrigeration while you're en route. And this later becomes an issue which I have uh, addressed in phase two, but we'll discuss that later. Panels are fastened down with nine inch bungee cords that are doubled up and then fastened to stainless steel eyes that are fastened into the side of the, and then those cables from the panels run through a solar cable gland into the boat and then down to the generator. Here are the two configurations that you can have with the portable panels. Uh, as you see in the picture here, they're configured fore and aft where you can use the bungees as to help hold it down. Uh, the next one here is side to side and you can't use the bungees to hold it down in that case so you have to use sandbags. And then thirdly here is a picture of uh, a fore and aft arrangement with the sandbag in place uh, along with the bungees. And as I said you cannot uh, use the tie downs or the bungees in a side to side situation so you have to use uh, two bags, two 10 pound sandbags is what I use to hold it down to keep it in place in winds because otherwise the winds will pick up those panels and carry them away. Phase two of the system came as a result of both summer and fall testing that demonstrated that the two SP120 panels were inadequate to keep the AC200 topped up. In both cases, uh, including in the summer, the freezer had to be shut down towards the end of two week trips uh, to conserve power and to keep the refrigeration uh, power throughout the trip. So I knew I had to enhance the system to make it possible to get through, especially the fall season on a longer trip of three weeks. There were two primary enhancements in phase two. Uh, the first was I purchased four 100 watt fixed panels, mounted them in an aluminum framework and then mounted them on a four-way solar mount system. This increased the uh, watts from 240 to 400 watts, which I figured would be sufficient. It also allowed me to uh, continue to charge while I'm on the highway because they are fixed to the roof and I didn't need to remove them like I did with the portable panels. The four-way mounts also allow adjustable tilt in four cardinal directions. So that was a, a, also a plus. Following is a demonstration on how the four-way mount system works for tilting the panels. Okay, folks, I'm trying to uh, set up the, change the angle here on the, on the roof panels here to try to maximize solar energy that I'm getting. So I'm gonna change the angle from where it is right now, and you can see that.
The second large enhancement was I built a backup lithium ion battery of 3.3 kilowatt hours. Uh, that can be used to connect it directly to the AC200 when the solar power is inadequate on longer trips, if you had cloudy days for a number of days in a row and uh, your refrigerator freezer is drawing down. Uh, I use that as a backup and it allows me to uh, extend my time on longer trips. Phase two was tested over two summer seasons and did quite well in the spring and the summer, but was still lacking in late fall with low sun angles of the high la higher latitudes and with more cloudy weather and warm temperatures, a failing AC 200 as well. This leads to phase three, which is currently in progress and will have these added features. Primarily the solar battery will be upgraded to a Bluetti AC 200P and this will be packed, backed up by both a 3.3 kilowatt battery in phase two that I mentioned before, but now a new house battery, which is lithium ion and 2,844 watt hours. And that will be charged by my old SP120s, which haven't been really being used. I will mount them over the app Bimini using with it having its own independent controller. Uh, the house battery then will be able to be manually connected by a wire to the AC200P for additional power when required. Uh, stand by for episode two after these uh, new systems are installed and tested. I will post a new episode two on this solar battery system.